we started out a couple of weeks ago looking at this, looking at the single target spreadsheets. We were keeping track of the changes going week by week, either because Blizzard was tuning the specs or because the APL, the logic being used in the simulations was being worked, was being updated over time. As always, as a reminder, you can find the link to the spreadsheet as well as multiple other useful links to a bunch of other things you might be interested in when it comes to WoW resources, whether they are to-do guides or dungeon cheat sheets for interrupts and dangerous abilities or multiple other useful links, you can go over at the Discord that you will find the link in the description. We have, however, an update for today. By the time this video is out, this uh, single target spreadsheet sim list will be updated to look like this. We have shrunk that a little bit. You will now find the links of the sims directly inside of the results for each of the specs, but we also went a step further. We have not just stopped at single target, you know, since the majority, most of these specs already also have an AOE APL, so they know what to do in AOE situations, we can start looking also at their AOE damage. We can start looking at their damage on five targets over five minutes, on eight targets over five minutes, on five targets over a minute, or even eight targets over a minute to check their consistent damage in AOE, their consistent damage on more targets, and then even their burst damage. Now, of course, this is not what you're gonna be getting in Mythic Plus. It's not that a certain spec in Mythic Plus will be fighting five targets for five minutes straight, obviously. But it can be good enough to give you an idea. It can also paint certain pictures. For example, when you compare the damage on five targets compared to the damage on eight targets, you might be seeing certain differences. For example, you can see Arcane Mage growing by 700,000 DPS if you add three more targets, because they are not particularly good at hitting eight targets more so than five. But then you look at Unholy Death Knight and they grow almost four million DPS. So you get the idea, even though, sure, you're not gonna be fighting five targets for five minutes, you're not gonna be fighting eight targets for five minutes, but you get the idea that Sun Lane and only DK on multiple targets does progressively much better than many other specs, for example. That is something that you can learn by looking at these results, and the same when we will look at the burst damage, right? You can get an idea of who has the burst. Maybe they don't have a lot of consistent damage on five or eight targets, but they might have very good burst damage, which can be something, you know, good to know about your, your DPS specs. Now, as usual, we still don't have a working APL for the station for Windwalker and for Rhett, and even the AOE one for balances is, is missing, or at the very least not reliable at all. So we have the other specs and the results. We can see from here that some of the highest performing specs on consistent damage on multiple targets, so spec that can reach 6 million DPS or above, are Frost DK, Unholy DK, Feral Druid, Marksmanship Hunter, Outlaw Rogue, Enhancement Shaman, Elemental Shaman, and Affliction Warlock. These are the spec with the highest consistent damage on eight targets. Their AOE damage doesn't suffer nearly as much if you lower the amount of targets, because their performance remains one of the highest. You know, if you go from eight to five, the better performers are still Frost, Unholy, Feral, Maximanship, Outlaw, Elemental, Enhancement, and Affliction. We have one addition, which is Arcane Mage. The point of Arcane Mage doing better on five targets compared to what they are doing on eight is because a third of their damage on five targets come from Arcane Barrage. And Arcane Barrage caps at four targets. So obviously when you go and look at their damage on eight targets, they do still have a lot of their damage in Arcane Barrage, but that Arcane Barrage, even on eight targets, is still just hitting four of them. So it doesn't have the scalability that some of the other specs, like for example Earthquake for Elemental, or Malefic Rapture for Affliction, or just unholy AOE damage that, that they have and Arcane Mage does not. So they have a significantly better result on five targets compared to eight. We are mentioning Arcane specifically because we had the, the tier lists of the DPS a few days ago. Yes, it was mixed between the Raid and Mythic Plus, so they weren't 
specifically tier list for, for Mythic Plus. But you can see, for example, that the results of these sims are not nearly as, as similar to what we put in the tier list. For example, we had Shadow Priest quite high, Assassination was quite high, Havoc Demon Hunter was also quite high, Frost Mage also was put very high, and their results in there are, are okay. They're not low by any means, of course, 3.5 million for Frost and 4.1 million for Assassination is still quite high. But, you know, to reiterate again, being good on five targets or on eight targets consistent damage over five minutes doesn't mean you will be extremely good in mythic plus now the next part of the sims was the burst damage this is cooler of course people get people get excited perhaps even horny when we talk about burst damage cooldowns potion bloodlust that kind of damage now by far by far the biggest winner was an holy dk in this case, with this unlane council build that doesn't use A-bomb or Dark Transformation, and then even then, the second best was still Sun Lane. And even the third best was reaching 8 million. You know, the third best simming result for Unholy was still one of the highest anyways. That's how good Unholy was doing. You still had Frost that we mentioned was good on 5 and 8 targets for consistent damage, still doing well in burst damage. Feral Druid was doing well, and it's also doing well in burst damage. You also have Elemental and Enhancement and Affliction continuing to do well in burst damage as well. Not a surprise, of course, we mentioned this already since, you know, there might be more talk about this particular spec Arcane because it's doing very well, not just in AoE, but we have been seeing the single target sims and it has been practically the best <laughs> all this time that now in eight targets burst Arcane is still doing quite poorly compared to many other specs. They are practically getting up by almost 80 to 90 percent more damage by more burst heavy and also wide targets heavy specs on five targets again their burst is closer to being average still not great one spec that was doing quite better with their burst damage especially on five targets and even eight targets compared to their consistent damage was assassination which is also doing slightly more when it comes to when it comes to a shorter burst window than their overall dps there is also a significant jump in positive damage when it comes to fels card demon hunter when it comes to eight target burst window significantly above aldrachi weaver when it comes to when it comes to a aue damage which was expected of the of the hero talent and for the most part no surprises the spec that we're doing well in consistent damage do still also have pretty good burst damage on five or eight targets after this though you have the final point which is the dungeon slice now the dungeon slice is a you know a unique kind of option in your in your simulations where rather than fighting a single mob for five minutes or fighting five mobs for five minutes you have a mix of one boss on one target then you have five small adds and even two big adds as well so you kind of cycle the damage the damage profiles you do across five minutes the the point of this dungeon slice simulation is of course to simulate the types of damage you will be doing in single target or in cleave or in multiple targets kind of like what you would do in mythic plus you also have of course way more dead periods way more losses of dps because it, it's simulating pulling different packs basically fighting different mobs and then going going again and again and again so your damage is obviously lower overall than if you were just fighting in aoe as a result so this is what perhaps might be more relevant for checking your performance in mythic plus yes you might have a gigantic amount of you know of aoe damage but what if you're only fighting one target with those talents and then two targets with those talents or what if you are fighting five targets but they don't last for five minutes or even one minute they last for 30 seconds and you're not using your cooldowns you're not using your burst it's just 30 second pull into 30 second pull what would be the result so here you do see some different results compared to the, the damage we have been seeing all the way in all these sims for AoE, for pure AoE. Some continue to do well because we have been seeing Frost doing well across all of the sims and now even in the dungeon slice they have one of the highest ones. Perhaps the only, the only specialty is that the better results in these sims were with the breath build. 
compared to their, I guess you can say, normal rider build for Mythic Plus using using actually that torrent and ignoring ignoring breath. Of course, being consistent pools with many targets where you never stop and you can keep your Breath of Syndragosa active permanently, obviously it will have much better results. But as soon as you start to simulate some Mythic Plus style of pools, it loses out more to your traditional Mythic Plus build for Frost, but the result is still very high. It is in fact, I believe, the highest of the results for now when it comes to Frost. Another spec that does the opposite, does much better in the dungeon slice than they did in all of the previous simulations is Arcane, right? We mentioned how Arcane was doing badly if we consider how they have been, you know, called and considered the one of the strongest of the specs right now in a dungeon slice compared to straight up pulls on many targets they do significantly better there are other specs that continue to do very well in the dungeon slice you have outlaw that has been doing well in in all the simulations you also have elemental you also have enhancement those all continue to do very well in all simulations who increase their results in their damage compared to their burst damage their consistent damage on many targets are warriors that are also doing quite better in a dungeon slice and you also have havoc demon hunter havoc course rather average in most of their results in all of these sims but in the dungeon slice they were performing better overall compared to their previous results there are also specs that go lower you know feral was amongst the best in the previous sims now in the dungeon slice is okay okay to good affliction is the one that loses the most actually to the point where i worry there might have been some problems with the with the apl of affliction given how much worse they are doing compared to their previous results as well as practically the complete opposite for demonology who does much better compared to their previous results anyways anyways enough of this i talked long enough i'm gonna just leave you behind with the updated link to the simulation spreadsheet which will now include both the aoe simulations as well as the single target simulations at the same time which we will both be keeping updated for the near future especially awaiting any working sims for the few remaining specs still not having any but for today this is what we have to announce the addition of the aoe portion of the simulations in the spreadsheet so for today with this out of the way it is now time to leave each other as a reminder of course you can always join the discord to find all of these useful links and be updated whenever any new useful tools spreadsheets or links might be coming for the war within and besides this we can thanks everyone for having watched the video as well as everyone who is supporting completely for free by liking and commenting down below as well as subscribing to the channel itself now with these things out of the way thank you guys again for watching see you guys tomorrow and in the meantime how much is it 31 degrees yeah. you know it's okay as long as it lasts for like three to four days tops and then and then, and then it's over